So OCU400 modified gene therapy platform uh, Oxygen has developed to address the retinitis pigmentosa condition which is caused by mutation in multiple genes. In our phase 1 2 study what we observed that this unique novel modified gene therapy technology was able to provide benefit to the retinitis pigmentosa patient in a gene, agnost gene agnostic way. I would like to provide some brief introduction about the disease and complexity and then I will come back to our platform technology and its potential to address all the RP patient condition. So, if you look at retinitis pigmentosa, it is a inherited uh, retinal disease and, and there are more than 100 gene mutation lead to this particular condition. And, and there is a significant uh, clinical heterogeneity in, in this particular disease condition. And because of that heterogeneity, the onset progression and the severity of this condition uh, is very complex. <clears throat> and, and one of the another uh, challenge we have in this uh, space, if you are trying to develop a therapy uh, for those individual gene mutation, developing an individual, individual product, you know, tailored to the every gene mutation is colossal task to achieve. Not only that, when we try to take the traditional approach of gene augmentation or gene editing, uh, they are limited by other, other uh, challenges such as you cannot deliver any every gene you know uh, to these patients. Not only that, there are a lot of RP patients more than 30, 40 percent where we do not know the genetic basis of the disease. So, if you really want to, to help these patients, you need to look for uh, a novel approach which is gene agnostic in nature and which has potential to address the disease uh, in, in broader group of RP patients. But one common irrespective of genetic background uh, of these RP patients, one common manifestation we see in this disease is the degeneration of photoreceptors irrespective of what the genetic cause is. So, if we really want to, to help these patients and preserve their vision, one approach could be how we can protect this photoreceptor. And once we preserve this photoreceptor, then preserving their vision and providing their vision uh, for, you know, uh, and, and, and preserving their vision for a longer duration of time uh, could be achievable task. And, and, and another limitation we see in gene augmentation approach is that once like photoreceptors are, are you know, uh, started progressing to degenerate, it is very challenging for gene augmentation approach to halt that progression. And if you cannot halt the progression of degeneration, then the durability of traditional gene augmentation approach to, to provide like you know one time lifetime, one time treatment and lifetime like you know durable effect is, is, is you know will be, will be difficult to realize. And that is where our platform technology uh, uh, comes into the, into the place actually. So, our platform uh, approach is based on nuclear hormone receptor gene and, and this approach not just directly address the mutation which lead to the RP, but it delivers a molecule which helps preserving the photoreceptors and improving the function of photoreceptors. And how does it achieve that? It is achieved by regulating the multiple gene networks which are essential for the retina function and the structure. So, in our study what we observed that OQ400 modified gene therapy was able to bring the balance in all the critical pathways which are dysregulated in retinitis pigmentosa conditions such as phototransduction, uh, cell survival pathway, inflammatory pathway, oxidative pathway. So, in nutshell, our, our modified gene therapy was able to basically bring the balance in all the dysregulated pathway which are which are present in the retinitis pigmentosa condition and by bringing those pathway to the normal level it, it establishes the homeostasis and when you establish the homeostasis in cellular at molecular level you help preserve the photoreceptor and subsequently preserving the vision in these patients so star guard and uh, geographic atrophy both are macular degeneration condition 
But the key difference is that a star guard is a genetic disorder driven by mutation in ABCA4 gene, whereas uh, dry AMD uh, and, and, and the advanced form of dry AMD that is geographic atrophy, it is a very complex multifactorial disease which involves uh, genetic and other environmental factor leading to the condition. But one common uh, pathophysiology uh, between these two condition is that they both lead to the macular degeneration uh, because of the because of the various uh, uh, stress condition present in the retina. So when you when you look at the various pathway which are which drive the pathophysiology of these two conditions are primarily oxidative stress, inflammation, lipid peroxidation, and the activation of complement pathway. So far in, in our space, most of the company has been targeting only complement pathway. And because of the very complex nature of disease, just targeting single pathway may not be able to provide the optimal clinical benefit to these patients. So our uh, another modifier uh, gene therapy platform, which is based on Rora gene, has a slightly differentiated approach uh, where we, we are not just targeting the complement pathway, but we are also targeting other pathway which induces the disease condition such as oxidative stress, inflammation and lipid peroxidation. So in our uh, phase one and two study for the star guard and geographic atrophy, what we are, we are observing that OQ410 delivery to these patients in the subretinal space was able to not only provide the structural preservation of the photoreceptor in these patients, but also it helps enhancing uh, the function of those photoreceptor. And, and that we got to know by seeing the improvement on pre, uh, preservation of the degeneration of the photoreceptor, as well as improvement of uh, visual acuity, which is the, the measurement of the vision in these patients under low light condition. So in nutshell, our platform targets multiple pathway which are linked to the disease patho pathophysiology and subsequently is able to provide the better clinical benefit compared to the approach age where you, we just target the single pathway. So in addition to the structural uh, preservation, the functional improvement and preservation is also very critical for these patients. So and, 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 and this is kind of the expectation coming from the other regulatory agency as, as well. So our OQ410 RORA best modifier gene therapy was not just able to, to preserve the, the degeneration of the photoreceptor, but it was also able to enhance of the existing photoreceptor function, which we measured through the uh, measuring their visual acuity under low light condition. And it is very important because at the end, we want to provide the functional benefit to the patient. Patients wants to see to, to, to improvement in their quality of life driven by the vision. So until unless you have the functional improvement driven by vision, a structural preservation may have a limited, uh, uh, limited benefit you know, during course of their, their life. 